Stokes, 2018 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. Joining me now is the winner of the Open Classic. Galen, congratulations to you both. Thank you. How did it feel? There was a little bit of suspense there at the end, it felt like. Yeah, that cow was challenging me pretty tough there at the end, so there was a lot of adrenaline and just trying not to get in the way and let the horse work. Okay, now you won the same event, back-to-back -back champion of the Classic, five and six-year-old. What does it mean to you tonight? Well, this is, I mean, this has been a fun process with, you know, Alvin and Becky buying the horse and uh, being able to ride this horse. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's special any time you're on any horse of that caliber. Uh, and you're forced down towards the end to kind of cut some of the cows that are borderline, not knowing if they're going to run you over or if they're going to be good cows. And uh, that horse, I mean, he made those cows good cows. They they weren't the best cows, and they were challenged pretty hard. The first cow was a great cow, uh, but then after that, there was there was a lot of challenge. The crowd was behind you, though. Well, the crowd's excited for you know the, the horse and Alvin and Becky, and it's just uh, any time you can put a good put a good run, it excites everyone. Now, Stevie, futurity champion, um, you've had the horse for how long? Five or six months? Uh, no, I just, you know, I think we got the horse here about a month ago, uh, right before the uh, Arbuckle, um, and so we're, yeah. So you haven't had a whole lot of time. Uh, how have you managed to prepare this horse for this event? Uh, he's just a good horse, and uh, you just try to show him the best you can, and and uh, fortunately we've had some good luck. Okay, how has the horse developed, do you think, in the time since it's won the Futurity? I think uh, everyone's felt that the horse has always been special as any Futurity champion is. Um, and so I think he's just always been a good horse. Okay, what were you thinking for those moments when uh, there was no score and you're wondering if you've won this event and you had a 226 to beat? Yeah, I didn't have much wonder. I mean, you know, we've, we've all competed enough in here and it felt pretty phenomenal. The horse is a phenomenal horse and um, so I, I knew it was going to be a big score. I just didn't know what. Okay, so what was your strategy? Because there was no semi-final, just the two go-rounds. Um, how did that affect your strategy coming into the event? Well, I think everyone's strategy is, is do the best you can and, and bring it in the five and six year old division. Uh, I mean, it's one of the toughest divisions there are in the country. And when you only take 25 horses out of 200, you gotta, you know, uh, there can't, there, not much can go wrong. You have to kind of bring your A game. Does it mean you have to take more risks in the go round, or does it, is it more pressure, or is it somehow easier because the horse doesn't have to compete as much? Uh, I, I just think every horse is different. You try to, you know, just do what your horse, uh, you know, his strengths are, and just do the best you can, and, and whatever happens, happens. Okay, now 231, good feeling. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Tell me, what are your plans now with this horse? Uh, he's gonna go to the breeding farm tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, and for the rest of the event, the Derby, what have you got? Uh, yeah, we're, I, I think there's a good chance that uh, he'll show there and, and hopefully the BI, uh, you know, but he's obviously done enough in his career to be a breeding horse and Alvin and Becky have had, a, you know, a lot of people wanting to breed to him and all that, so uh, hopefully they don't get too many so I can keep showing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Congratulations once again.